All right, lumber mill. I think I'm ready to start doing something on you. So this originally was like a, a giant sharpener for fence post things, something. It has a couple of different sharpener pieces that go in here. And these screw on to this shaft. And then there's a fatter part here. And obviously this saw blade doesn't originally go in there, but this is where I want to put my saw blades. However, the saw blade is a little bit wobbly. So I'm going to have to carve a little spot into this fatter part that the saw blade will fit perfectly on. And then, you know, cut a nut out of this that'll screw on there. And then I want to use this shaft, these two bearings, this thing has a chain drive, which won't be good because it'll overheat, you know, at the, at the high speeds. So I'll have to replace that with belts or maybe gears. I don't know. First thing, I just need to mount this blade on there really centered and securely. Get out of the way. Oh, yeah. let's get this thing off. Those are pretty good threads. I should be able to cut a nice nut out of there to put on there to hold the blade. And now uh, this is what I'm talking about where the blade doesn't fit right because you know it's not the right diameter right there. So I can carve into this a little bit and get it, you know, just it just has to be the I just have to carve down the thickness of the blade and get a spot where it's really well centered and, and fixed. So I guess that's my first task on my lumber mill situation. And this needs to be really, really precise because the thing's going to be spinning like crazy. And if it's not centered and it's going to be wobbling, vibrating. So, okay, how do I do this? Okay, to carve that part, I could stick that rod in my lathe, except it won't fit through this hole in here, like back here. So it would have to be sticking way out and then I have to get it. Nah, I'm not confident that I can get it centered well. So maybe I need to find a way to carve it down right where it is, which I mean, theoretically, that should be the best way to center it anyway, because it'll be on the thing that it's actually going to be spinning with anyway. So, all right, let me see if I can figure something out here. Can I attach an angle grinder here that I can move very precisely and then just grind it and turn this, maybe? Well, the obvious thing is just to turn on that motor and have this thing spin on its own. Then I can just hold an angle grinder and carve it. But this is like a three horsepower motor and it's raining outside and I'm on solar power, so I don't want to use that kind of electricity. Yeah. So maybe I can put a little motor on there because it, it doesn't need to be strong. What? I wonder if that will fit, maybe? Oh no. And if this nut fit on there, it'd be great. Oh, wait, it does fit. It's just, yeah, it just fits really snug. Looks like the threads match though. Yeah, it's getting on there. Yeah, it's good that it's snug. Because then it's not gonna come off accidentally. Oh, now it's loose. I just need to get it on there. I guess get some of this dirt out of the way. Nice. So I don't have to carve a nut out of that thing. Oh, it totally fits. Great. All right, still have to carve this thing. All right, when you don't want her in your room, she's not there. So let her have privacy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that fits beauty. Oh, great stuff. Look at that. I was lucky I had one of those nuts just hanging around. Oh, it fits right on. 
Yeah. Fits perfectly, yeah. You getting that cover off for me? Mm -hmm. Cool. Wow, that is one serious cover. All right, if I take off this clip here, I can get the chain. <laughs> could probably use some needle nose pliers for this, but I don't think I even that much. Go on. So I don't lose the pieces. Yep. Okay, if I rest the guard right there, it looks like I can get it lined up right to make this cut into this. And I was looking at the motor, it's only one and a half horsepower, so it's not that much. And the sun came out a little bit, I need some more. I don't know, this won't take that long, a couple of minutes. Maybe I can just do it. Do I need to cut that off? I need to carve this so the, the saw blade fits on it right. It fits on it perfectly centered. So I'm going to angle grinder it down and then maybe use a file to get the last little corner edge in there. It's going to use a lot of power to turn this on though, get it spinning so I can do it. Can you want to come over here and just go like this? Yeah? Let's save a bunch of electricity when we don't have any. All right, you can do that without getting your fingers caught in anything. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, that was really close. Okay, can you spin a little bit more? Yeah, yeah do a little bit more. I almost got it. Right. Tiny bit more. Let's double check on here. Right, for this part, I need to just spin it a bunch, and I'm just going to very slowly grind it down. So hold this really steady, so we'll do a nice even circle. All right, the saw blade fits on there, but you know where I where I carved in, it's not like perfect, perfectly 90 degrees, like right in that corner because I was using an angle grinder. So now I just need to file the edge without screwing anything else up. deep right in that corner, but slowly, until this fits perfectly. Oh, that already made a difference. Pretty close. Alright, I just gotta not screw this up, because I can't put material back on. So I'll just go slow. Whoa, I think that they got it. I ground down the inside of this nut just the same way I was doing that thing. I screwed it on here. And now I've got maybe a millimeter of wobble, which frankly I think is fine for what I'm building here. Although 
when I get this all put together and I can turn a motor on and get it really spinning, then I can just take a file and, you know, straighten it out that last little tiny bit. But really, I think even if it was just like it is right now, I think it would work fine. So, well, that's a good start. What's next?